So again, more be cool maintenance items. Got quite a few actually, as I'm learning a lot about disc brakes with hydraulic calipers. In general, new bike stuff that I've never known before. So the first problem I found was I had sheared one of the nuts off a brake disc rotor. I was like, oh no, I saw it pop off. Look at that. It popped right off. I noticed this uh, while trying to adjust brake squeak and they were kind of rubbing and stuff. And that little sucker popped right off. Oh shit. Figured out what that was. Ordered some. They're on the way right now. In the meantime, I ordered new brake pads because I was trying to get rid of a squeak and someone said, get some aftermarket pads, they're better. So, okay. So I did that. It seems a little better. Um, so I'm like, well, let's check out the rear since it came with two sets of brake pads. I'll go ahead and change the rears out. Oh, man. So I'm in here doing this. Pull these little guys off. And I got some pretty uneven wear. Ooh, I focus my shit. So then I'm looking, like, oh, I got some loose bolts. This one spins in the hole, so the threads are shot. Like, fuck. All right. Better. Better look at my wife's bike. So I go so over here, and I go, uh, what the fuck? There's one bolt left holding this rotor on. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Um, they're all gone. Every one of them. Except for one. There it is back there. Holding this whole thing on. <laughs> well, shit. Okay. Luckily, I have all those bolts coming for the one that I was missing. But I'm going to use them all, it looks like. I got the front. This guy is halfway out. I just unscrewed it with two turns. I haven't tightened the rest of these just yet. I'm going to get to that. <laughs> so, got some pretty major brake problems with the Be Cool bikes. And on my B Explorer, Adventure Explorer, can't remember. Um, I had this. See that? This is the brake uh, cable, the hydraulic cable for the brakes. Um, got the shit rubbed out of it there. Like, oh, it kept getting stuck here when I was riding it. It would be jammed up in there with the flex of this this arm here for the soft suspension, and it would just it would get a bunch of slack. This had pulled out completely. It busted this zip tie that was holding all this on. Fuck. Alright, so here's my first mod to my bike, as far as I can tell. Got a new zip tie. Pulling this up. As well as this on the other side, which is the derailleur cable. This had some side kind of too. As you can see the... Can you see it? the damage. So I use a zip tie to pull these cables up so, so they're out of the way of this arm. Um, and that seems to work actually. I don't have any issues. So that bike's bar is lower. I think that's why I'm not having the rubbing on that bike because it's more in here than up here like this bike is. So I think uh, so I don't have to do any fix for that bike because the bar just comes out lower so it's straighter. I'll have to actually double check but I don't think it was rubbing. Anyway. <laughs> All the bolts fell out of that one. And we were going to go on a ride this evening. Um, son of a bitch. Got some 
had to find this in my toolbox, some thread locker, hopefully that'll keep it from backing out. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about this spinny guy, because it's really not doing much as far as holding the caliper on. I don't see this as being a separate piece from the hub, so I think, uh, I mean, this this whole thing would have to be replaced, I think, with the, the spokes on it, so you're getting into a serious bike mechanic kind of deal where you're having to replace this component and redo the spokes. Oh wow, this is going to be crazy. I don't know if I'm equipped for that. We'll see. Alright, be cool explorer issues. Thought I'd uh, post this up. I'm probably going to uh, send this to tech support as well to see if, what they can help me with because these were expensive, man. Shit. Alright, later.